How you doing? My name is Joe Barlow, and uh, I want to share with you about something that I've dealt with for a long time, and that is poverty. And that is a difficult thing. You might think that, oh, you're just a middle class guy. How could you have ever really dealt with poverty? Well, I want to I want to challenge you that I believe poverty is something that's in your heart. And I think we can do something about it. I believe God's given us in his word um, an image, uh, promises, really showing us who he is. And I think if we were to take time together, you and I, I think we could delve into some things in the word of God and share some things from the scriptures and, and that the spirit of God has done in my life and he'd like to do in your life to move you literally from from poverty or lack over into provision and eventually his abundance. I've lived a long time thinking, will there be enough? Now I'm the 10th of 14 children, so uh, it would be easy to think, um, you know, there's there's not going to be enough. We used to have a thing at our dinner table called Starvation Corner because the food started at my dad and it went to the right. And if you were sitting to the left of my father, there may not be enough left for you. So literally, sometimes my mom would have to take that last plate and go scoop off of the other plates and bring it back because there might not be enough. Well, that phrase, there might not be enough, seems to have gotten into my heart sometimes, or sometime early on, even to the point when we would have a chicken dinner. I loved my mom's baked chicken. She did it well. But after I ate mine, I would look at the person next to me and say, you gonna finish that? And they thought they had finished it. But I could see there was plenty of meat left on those bones. So they would say, sure, you can have it. So I would take and clean off the rest of those bones for them. Then I would look at the other person on my other side. You gonna finish that? And so I would clean their bones off as well. Why did I do this? Literally, it ended up, there, was, there were several meals when I had every bone, every chicken bone on the whole dinner table was on my plate. Everybody thought it was funny. Well, looking back on it now, it's lost its humor because it is something about there might not be enough got into my heart. And I've lived my life battling that little message, there might not be enough. The Lord has done so many miracles in my life in the area of finance and provision. It's been amazing. But um, this is also the area that I have been personally contested in. And what I mean by that is I've been under more attack in the area of provision than I think I have in any other area. I believe that the Lord wants, wants me to share with you some of the ways that I've overcome. Some of the ways that from the Word of God, by taking His promises, He would love to move us all into this place of abundance. So that where we don't even have a thought of lack. I was praying about my bills one day, and uh, I was wondering, it was a Tuesday, and I did not know how I was going to make it to Friday. I really no, I had no way of seeing how I was gonna how I was gonna make it. And as I was praying, the Lord spoke to me and he said, Son, I'm already in your future and everything's fine here. When he spoke that, something changed in my heart. There's an image in all of our hearts. We either think that we are people of abundance or we think we're people of lack. And I would love for us all to receive this new image in our hearts of who we really are. And I'll share with you these um, really 21 truths that I've brought together. Uh, I really believe the Lord put this on my heart. I was preparing this, this class, uh, this seminar, Wealth to the Nations. I was preparing it to take it to third world countries so that we could help them take people who are on the streets, take them and uh, teach them how uh, to get a job or to create a job so that they would be able to provide for their family. But as I began to get into this, and I do have invitations to several nations to do this, but we saw that if we are going to do this, we need to start right here at home. <clears throat> I really believe there's so many people in America who battle with this mindset 
there might not be enough. There might not be enough. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. I want to move us all from this place of lack to God's place of abundance. There are reasons God has for us to do this. And it's not to heap this on ourselves, even though God does want us blessed. If you're a child of God, if you have asked Jesus Christ to be your Lord and your Savior, and you've given your life over to him, you are a child of the King. Child, children of the King are not peasants. They're not paupers. Our God is a good God. He, he is a God of abundance, great abundance. And I think that if we study this together, and this is what I'm doing, I'm inviting you in this moment to come and study with me. Just all you have to do is turn on the computer, watch these videos, and listen. And we'll help you to change this image on the inside of you that has actually been leading you in to lack on a continual basis. But we can move from that. I know we can. God is a God of abundance. So join me in with this seminar, this teaching series called Wealth to the Nations. I believe that as you will give your time to this, I really believe something on the inside of you is going to change. And that's really where the change needs to happen. Because our limitations as human beings, our limits are not out there somewhere. 90% of the time, if not more, the limitations we live by are in our hearts. One scripture I want to share with you is in Proverbs. It says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flow the wellsprings of life. I love what my pastor says. He says, the word wellsprings there can also be translated boundaries. So what are the boundaries of our life? I woke up one day and I looked at the boundaries of my life. I said, Lord, I don't like where these boundaries are. I've been wanting for years for my music to get out and my music was still nowhere. I was, I was wanting to get my family out of always living paycheck to paycheck. Yet we were still there and the boundaries never were moving. I said, Lord, I want the boundaries of my heart changed. And do you know, that's one of those scary prayers that actually God delighted to, to answer. It was a painful process, but over the next year, God began to work in my heart. And I could feel the boundaries of my life being moved. Literally, I could feel it. And I saw it happen in my life. There's more work God has to do on me. But why don't, you, why don't we do it together? Join me. Watch these videos. Just take your time and allow God to minister to you. Let me pray for you now. Heavenly Father, I pray for my friend who's watching this video right now. Wherever they are on this, in this world, Lord, I ask right now that your presence would be felt right in that room with them. That they would sense that you, Lord, are at work right now, touching their life, ministering to them, and leading them, drawing them into this place of abundance. Lord, we love you, and I bless my friend in Jesus' name. So join me now for Wealth to the Nations. God bless.